we're not the ones doing the misinforming. You know? We're not the ones doing the misinforming. Misinformation. You post something on your your inst your social media that goes against the, the and it's not it's not going against the popular opinion. I want y'all to know know that. Because the media and these social tech companies, they try to make make it seem as if their opinion is the popular opinion of the masses, but it's not. It's not. I meet people, I talk to people every day. Lots of people. Okay? Just random folks. And they pretty much agree with everything that I say. Okay? Let's say let's say that big tech has the absolute truth. Let's say that they have the absolute truth. That they're enthroned on a holy throne that they're never wrong. And this is what you'll notice about these people who, who tag folk with misinformation. The left is never wrong. You never see a misinformation tag on a Democrat. That's a problem right there. That's, that should be a red flag for you Democrats out there who are watching them do this to us. You'll notice that, that, that no Democrat is ever wrong. That's a problem. But let's say that they have the absolute truth, right? And they're censoring people. It's a censorship. They locking everything down. And we'll and we'll let's say we agree with them doing this. How long before they get wrong? And then who would take the power back from them? How long is it before these people who have taken away the right for people to have an opinion and for people to choose what they see is right or wrong? Okay, you take that away. You take that away and you say, this is the truth. My opinion is the truth and there's nothing else. Anything else is going to be censored and taken away. Okay, that person with all of that power, how long before they become wrong and then when and how do we take that away from them if and when we discover that they are wrong you see the danger with that because what happens is when people get all of this absolute power it corrupts them not not as if they're not corrupt already because the left is already corrupt the left is already corrupt okay you can believe that Anytime you say that there's 70 something genders and that a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man and that a child can get a sex change without their parents permission and you get up and do a prayer and say a man and a woman, you're too perverted. You're too blasphemous. You're too strange to wheel around what is what is truth and what isn't truth. Okay. So the censorship, we're going to do something about that once I'm in Congress. I'm already working with some congressmen who are running some other con congressional candidates. And it may be about four of us that are going to win here in Arizona and go to, to the white, to Washington. And we're already talking about some plans that we're going to do to take away this, this censorship problem. Okay. We're going to put a stop to it. It's not right. You know, you get people on here. Listen, I don't. You have other religions that go on YouTube and they and they peddle their, they push their doctrine or their religion. You just let other people choose what they want to do. If you want to worship the devil, you know, you got Satan worshipers on here. And we know Satan is a liar, right? We know he's evil. We know he's a murderer and a killer. We know he even got kicked out of heaven. But you give them a platform on YouTube. Even heaven didn't want him. But you give them a platform here on YouTube, then you censor people like me. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So misinformation is what we're being fed by them. They're feeding, force feeding us misinformation about everything. About everything. You know? 
But let me know what y'all think about it. See, this is why you got to be a lover of truth. Truth makes you free. And if truth makes you free, what does a lie do to you? Okay. I'm Pastor Jerome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you on the next one.